motorcycle is whatever you want to make it. Turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. question at the gas station just now there was a lady in there and she was asking me all about my boots she was like oh those are super awesome boots I really like them and she was asking me why I wear them and what purpose they serve on a dirt bike and I guess that's a question that I could answer on video since a lot of people probably don't really have a good understanding of what boots are designed for. Really, your legs are your primary suspension system when you're riding a motorcycle on the dirt. You're always moving up and down. You don't want to overextend your ankles though, and that's one of the reasons you wear boots. Motorcycles are very unique in the fact that there's a high likelihood that you'll get hit by something while you're out on the trail every single time you come out. It's basically like running through the woods at a high rate of speed you're super exposed. It's not like you have a cage around you. It's not like we're just pushing a button or a pedal to go. We are completely immersed in the experience and that makes us very exposed. We're just as exposed as the machine. So everything the machine hits, we're basically hitting as well. So these are really important. They are also there to serve as an ankle brace, like side movement. All that stuff gets limited and they are um, covered in shielding. They're impact resistant. So they, they generally feel really hard to ride in for somebody who's not used to them. And they do require some break-in period. This is not made for sitting on, but this is made for standing on if I can <laughs> anyways so this is made for standing on but this is not made for sitting on really you're not ever supposed to really be sitting on your bike so that leaves this this is your form of cushion on your foot and so if you're not wearing a riding boot while on this thing your shoes will last approximately two seconds <laughs> it's definitely not conducive to uh, long-lasting shoe and also you will feel these through your shoe. So if you hit any big impacts with this thing, your shoe will not absorb any of that impact. This is made for a boot and your boot will actually attach to this and your boot will last a long time while riding on these. But I don't know of any shoe or work boot that can withstand riding on this for very long with proper technique. If you're sitting a lot, well, it's not best. I mean, it's definitely, not proper technique and you probably won't have kids. I try to wear boots every ride, sometimes I don't, but I'm trying to change that because this year I've smashed my legs um, three or four times to the point where, in my opinion, I probably would have broke my leg at least once or twice. Luckily, I've been wearing my boots every single time. Anyways, I hope that answers the question. Um, I know that the more expensive boots like these ones have a hinge system. Also, they uh, they have replaceable parts on them. The hinge system allows you more movement without bending plastic and rubber pieces on your boot. Believe it or not, Carl isn't at home. So leave a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? Believe it or not, I'm not home.